Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to episode number three of the Andrew Doty Podcast. Today's episode is brought to you by nobody. I don't have a sponsor, but I do have some worthwhile recommendations for you in case you are interested. It's actually something we talked about on the show today, and that is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest e-counseling platform. Their mission to make professional counseling accessible, affordable, convenient, so anyone who struggles with life's challenges can get help anytime, anywhere. Crazy stuff. Um, Online therapy? What? Who who could have thought of that? Their outcomes. Extensive studies by Berkeley Wellbeing Institute find that BetterHelp is as effective as face-to-face counseling. What? That's nuts. 98% of people make significant progress. 94% prefer BetterHelp over face-to-face therapy. And 70% of people have reduced symptoms of depression. So, if you want to check out the study for yourself, go to betterhelp.com and check it out today. My guest for you today is a great friend of mine, uh, one of the most ambitious people I know. He is an actor from New York City. Um, and we just had an awesome talk. Uh, it was a really fun conversation, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So, ladies and gentlemen, Without further ado, Javier Soto Burgos. I've never used this before, ever. Are you doing an intro? No, bro. No intro. There's no intro? No, we don't do that here. Oh, we just talk? I mean, I have done intros for other people. Let's do an intro real quick. Five, six, seven. So what what is your last name? Soto Burgo? Is that like That was close. Soto Burgos. It's like soda and burger, but not. I actually was gonna I was gonna put the S on the end, but I didn't know. Soto Burgos. Soto Burgos. I have a friend back home, his last name is Javier Morales. And that's why I always spell your name with a J. Well, a lot of people spell Javier with a J, Javier, but mine is spelled with an X. You want to know why? Tell me. Just kidding. You just have no idea. Why is your name Javito? Because it's cool. I'm actually curious because how did I never even put my name Andrew Dode? How does it? How so does it's, it know? Oh no! I I I had to type mine in. Oh. Put, so when I gave you the link, it was like. Put in it was your like, name. You're joining as a guest, and I was like, "Okay." Yeah. So then I put my name. It said to put your name. <clears throat> so Javito. Okay. Fuck yeah, Javito. Well, you know Javito. You know that's how they say. Javito. It. Javito. Javito. Let's do some. I say sport. Javito. So like, if you're if you're reading it in English, it's not mm-hmm. Javito. It's Javito. You see. Javito. Okay. Okay. How does my I- mic sound? By the way, is it good? Yeah, you sound great. All right, we're dude. I got this. Um, I've been I've been really trying to set it up. You know. I got this dimmed light in the background. I hear. Let me get some big headphones too. Hold on, give me a second. All right, all right, all right. I'm just gonna, dr- I'm just gonna drink to the camera, I guess. I'm back. Look at okay. these. Look at these, dude. Hit me. Aren't these? Oh, like- we we look pro fashion. Oh, wait, those <laughs> are both. Those are the Bose oh. headphones. Hmm. No, they're oh, not. I lied. I lied. Okay, you can still hear me. Yeah, can you hear me? Oh my gosh, you sound heavenly it actually sounds so much better yeah you sound me. yeah it's probably because i have a mic around here somewhere i don't know i don't know but it sounds so much better anyway what up dude how are you man good i'm doing really well i uh i just poured myself this patron i think but it smells kind of like coconut and i'm a little afraid i thought you were gonna but... say cocaine no <laughs> <laughs> i don't think it has a smell i don't, I think, I don't fucking know i think the whole point I guess it's to snort it, and then it would. You don't know if it would have a smell or not because you're snorting it. Maybe it does have a smell. Well, it has a taste, doesn't it? I guess you could put it under gums. Yeah. You could... Why anyway. does that work anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? <laughs> Maybe it's like the mu- a mucus membrane type situation. Oh yeah, yeah, mean? yeah. You want to get into that? I mean, yeah, that's freaking. You know get into the all, mucus membrane. all about the mucus membranes. I actually you know, don't know anything. So. I don't know. I I don't know anything either. I do think that slugs have a mucus on them. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Who is that? I don't know. Oh, I thought it was your mom being like, 
course slugs have mucus on them, Harvey. No, no, no. It just isn't it like a mucus membrane around these slugs? Mm. Mm-hmm. I think so. Ooh, ooh, that is bad. I have some Tennessee ooh. whiskey. I have some Jim Bean Red Stag Black Cherry. That sucks, Dick. It's really it bad. Hurt? Does it hurt your chest? Um, I actually haven't had it in a while. I'll try a little bit. Ooh, of it. ha! That's spicy. Oh, it smells like cough syrup. This is, this is mango habanero whiskey. So it's spicy, bro. Ugh. Ugh. I also did. I didn't even eat. Why? Because I've been busy, bro. Okay, what have you been doing? Tell tell the people what you've been up to. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Uh, this is actually really awesome, Andrew, because. You get to have one of the first interviews with uh, a famous person in the future. Yes, the next Oscar-winning nominee. <laughs> Something like that. I yeah, of, I'm going to guess. Can I guess when you'll be famous? Yeah, it's a good guess. All right, so what? you're 22. 23. Just turned 23. April oh, 1st. Shit. April Fool's Day. Let's go. Got it. That's my sister's birthday. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Yeah, Aries it, season. Aries season is the best season. I don't care what you say. April Fool's. It's not actually my sister's birthday. but. Ah, oh, you suck. I'm totally kidding. It is. It is. It is. Oh, it is? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a roller co- well, yeah. anyway, it's so, a roller coaster of emotions yeah 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 all right so tw- it's 2021 you're 23 right, I'm okay 23. i'm gonna say well when did matthew mcconaughey make it i don't know i'm gonna say i'm gonna say when you're 28 is when you're gonna get like your... fuck like just huge well i don't know if it's gonna be huge but it's gonna be your first lead role in something that lead role in something respectable it's something respectable <laughs> i think it's 28 because i i'm not i might even be like I might even say earlier, but I think with COVID right now, shit sucks. Well, it's coming back. It's coming back. New York City. And so Broadway. It's coming back. I actually, I haven't been there. I don't know how it's changed. I was there at the beginning of the pandemic in March. Why were you there? We were on tour for the acapella oh, you, group. You spread it all throughout the East Coast. Hell yeah, baby. Nor'easter. Up the fucking coast. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, uh, oh. I was there. We went to the Natural History Museum. Oh, I love that place. I yeah, love yeah. that place. I remember we, oh my God, that, so I was wearing a mask on the train, ironically. I was just like, oh yeah, what? this is kind of a joke. Cause like nobody because knew. Because no one that. knew that it was going to be a thing. I'm and people were looking at me. They were like, this guy's Ooh. fucking insane. You know, New Yorkers, they like, they look at people like they're. Judgy. Um, yeah. There's a bunch of, like... inst- there's literally a bunch of Instagram pages of Re- people on the trains, like like showing other people and just like laughing at them it's kind of crazy that's the dumbest shit in the world <laughs> it's kind of funny though. i mean it probably is funny. pretty funny no it is pretty funny i'm not gonna lie i think like nothing like the thing that i took away from living in new york city is like nothing is ever personal it's like you just kind of have a jackass yeah and people are like ah that guy's just a jackass like i parked behind some guy and he was like the fuck you doing bro like i'm unloading <laughs> something <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, my bad, boss. Everybody calls each other boss. So I was like, all right. No, boss. no, pro- no problem, boss. So I like back to my car. And... Hey, it's a good guy over here. Relax. Yeah, yeah. But anyway. That's so so 2028, I think. Not 2028. You're going to be 28. So that's five years. So 2026. I don't know. What is that? I don't know. 2021 in five years. That would be 2026. That's, that's a cool one. year. Yeah, not, not bad. For a nice big movie. Pow. I think so. I think it's going to be a rom-com. Really? I don't know. You seem like a rom-com kind of guy. You know, it's funny. I do a lot of, uh, I go out for a lot of vulnerable, I'm a vulnerable kid, you know? Like, I come okay. out, I go for, I go out for that, and I go out yeah. for um, a lot of Latinos. <laughs> Repping it for the Latinos! <laughs> Latinx community, shout out. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, so what is this? So... What are the roles that you've been doing right now? Like, I know you're doing this Indian burg. What is this dance thing? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> ba- it's not called bongos. It's like a uh, you're Cause. a DJ. Bangra. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just a musical that's coming out. I just gave it a shot. Going on in La Jolla Playhouse. I pre- I'm pretty Dude. sure it's public, so I don't think I'll get in trouble by saying this, right? I mean, I think that 49 people are gonna watch this. Maybe. <laughs> that's so. a lot. La Jolla. Well, it's yeah. going to be me nine times, at least. So <laughs> I'll listen to it, too. I'm probably going to laugh at it. Hold on. Let me, let me, I want to, I want to find this. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. It's already publicized in La Jala Playhouse. 
Word. Yeah, just just a it's a world premiere musical, um, Ooh. about a little Indian a bunch boy. Of cool stuff. No, I wouldn't be Indian in it. I'd be Latino. I'd be a DJ. I th- people say I can pass for Indian, and I just don't. Absolutely, I get that a lot. Yeah. Do I look yeah. Indian to you? No, you look like a newt. No, oh, I'm, not, I'm kidding. <laughs> I I do think I look like a newt. I do think I look. I don't like think a that's true. All right, I we have zero audience participation right now, but. It probably so, will, but I want to know in the polls, does Javi look like a new? Okay, other poll. Do I look Indian, guys? <laughs> <laughs> do I look Indian? I don't know. I don't know. I think we. Do you think we could be brothers? Like, do we look like brothers? Okay, so I've actually. We're I both I've, brown. I've had. <laughs> that's racist, bro. How is that racist? I don't know. It's a joke. It's so, objective. For I actually brown. think that it would be fine. I thought about like doing like short, like a short film. I think it could work. As like you and I, yeah, absolutely, brothers. Yeah, I think you're a little darker than me. Yeah, um, but it doesn't matter. Like my, I'm darker than my brother, and our hair is a little different. And like, I think my facial structure is a little different. I do think we look very different. We're just both yeah. brown. <laughs> is that the only thing? Because people say it. Like I've heard people say it. And I'm just like, I don't know. Really, I mean, we don't look that way. We, we're both you, brown. You've heard people say that we can be brothers. Yeah. Who the fuck are these people? Probably people who think that brown people are just the same. You know. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I don't know, but I have heard that before. I guess we could do it. I guess that's the whole point of the Why short not? film. Why not? It's also like it's also like it doesn't matter how they look. It's the relationship between the characters. God damn it, bro! What? Dude? <laughs> what am I doing? You're totally right. Have you tried writing anything? Yes. Oh my god. Okay, guys. So I started. <laughs> I'm talking to the audience, bro. Yeah. I actually started writing a. I wanted to, uh, because I st- got it into I really got into movies the junior year of college. Uh, shout out, William and Mary, peep, peep the degree guys. Oh shit! I didn't even notice. That's dope. Mine is in the background. If I zoom, if I kind of, you'll be able to see it a little more. But that's about it. Oh yeah, you look great. You look Thank great you. next to that. You Thanks, have bro. great lighting in your in your area. I gotta get a lighting. I, I actually there. I think that my face looks a little blue right now i think it has like purple blues oranges it looks awesome it might be because of the thing behind you it might be i could also turn off some of this stuff right here in my computer but anyway what are you writing oh i was okay this is this this uh, this sucks guys i was writing (laughs) actually gonna keep referring to the audience um i was writing a a, like a movie type thing i think it it might have just turned into tv i was tv or movie some type of film thing about it was about a bunch of kids who, uh, okay, basically the main character wanted to make his, help his family's end meet, make ends meet. So like he had to work with his dad a lot and stuff. And he gets into this opportunity because he goes to this party and meets this girl who, who steals cars and like sells them. So like he gets into this, uh, into this like business with her and he's like, you know, questioning his morals and like, who am I? Like, I'm trying to get money and stuff like that. It was kind of a good idea, I thought, but. Damn, do you, do you have it written? I wrote, okay, and this is the worst part, guys. So I wrote it. I wrote like like a couple scenes, like four scenes or whatever. And I was like, oh, this is actually not that bad. Like I, I was studying the format and stuff like that. And my computer that it was on died. Like it doesn't work. Bro. It's in there. Like I remember, I wrote some cool stuff, man. Damn. Dude, I had my, okay, this sort of happened to me. So I wrote a script once. I, I don't even remember what it was called. I read it to this girl one time long ago. She hated it, didn't she? She hated it, absolutely. I'd love to I'd love to hear some of your work again. I've heard one of your short stories. You what have? Is, yeah, yeah. The, the, was it the, the mountain-y one in the mountains? What? Like, oh, the one. Oh, that was for the... You submitted it for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was... Um... That was actually kind of a cool take. So it was actually a story that I began writing about um spreading my dog's ashes up on top right. of a mountain um and as i was writing it i was like mm, it's really hard for me to like convey sort of like the humanity of like my dog i was like i was like because he has like such a humane characteristic to him like, anthropomorphic about... qualities anthropomorphic right? qualities correct and Agreed. so when... i don't even know if that's right but yeah i think that's true yeah, that's pretty good i, don't know, I like bro. it i like it um and so I was like writing it and I was having a really hard time like being like this is how special like my dog was to me. Like mm-hmm. these are the things that we went through. 
and I was like, I'm just gonna make it make the theoretical friend that I was talking about in the book or in the story that was my dog. I'm gonna make it into a person, right? And so I just changed that, it. Oh yeah, to, that's right. To sound like it's a person, and so I'm that actually writing. Person, yeah. So I'm writing about my dog and like how like we share all these like really beautiful memories together and I've hiked this mountain to like spend time with myself, their ashes and sort of the cosmos and what that has to say about my relationship with, you know, people who have passed on for me, which is actually my dog. Yeah, that's but... so, I didn't, I mean, I don't know if you told me that, but that's, that's cool. That's a cool way to do it, you know? I actually I read it again and it was not that good. I was like, "What the fuck, Andrew?" But I think, but I think the story is cool. You just work on work on it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I do always, have a problem with that, just like abandoning things. Yeah, yeah, you gotta just keep. That's what I have the opposite problem. I will not abandon things, and then I'm like have like four thousand files on my thing. Like I have like if you guys looked into my notes, guys, I have like a bunch of files. Like I have old shopping lists that I haven't deleted. It's like I'm connect. Like, what is this revolutionary road? Like, I, I just wrote that. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> that we that could be a, a title to. A, it sounds like. A, is that a, a movie? A play. Maybe that's a movie. Is that a revolutionary? I think what happens is you just get really high and you write down these things because you don't want to forget. Oh my you... gosh! It's a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm. I've <laughs> seen clips of that movie and it looks insane. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, this is not tequila, bro. I don't know what this is. Yo, be careful, bro. I'm in my house. Yeah, I don't know. It's all right, all right, all right. The last thing that I wrote in my notes. What are you going to say last? That's what it says. What am I going to say last? I don't know if I can show that. I don't think you could see it if I tried to show it. Oh, but... oh it's oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, it's backwards, yeah. though, is it? No, I read it. I see it. Oh, for me, it's backwards. What are you going to say last? I don't know what that was about. I think I was like having some really deep existential moment when I was huh. in, I was at the beach in Ocean City, Maryland. Oh, that's I was, dope. I was like, what What are you going to say? Like, like, what's the last thing you'll ever say? Yeah, that's, yeah. you know, that's cool, man. Like, I thought about a bunch of things when you said that. So yeah, I thought about like, you know, when I die. But But if you think about it, there's so much into that because it's like, this is the last, with the last breath that you have, you're going to choose to say this. And it's literally like, it tells you everything about yourself with whatever you choose. You know what I mean? Just with whatever you say, I feel like you can know a lot about a person. Dick. See? Yeah. It's like, oh, this guy's a jokester. Dick and balls. <laughs> or this guy's. Or this know, guy's literally like losing his mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, losing his mind too. What do you think yours, your last words would be? I think it's going to be like, it's going to be a one-worder. It's going to be like, <laughs> you know, it's going to be... Friendship. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's going to be like, like, just like, damn. You know what I mean? Ooh. Yeah. That, I feel that. Kinda that that kind of hits. I know, hits. right? Yeah, it it's just like in there. Because it means everything, you know? It's like, wow. It's like, wow. Yeah. It's like, this is crazy. It's like, I'm scared. Yeah. It's like everything, you know? It can be everything. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? That's pretty funny. Um, yeah, I've always thought about that. I think I was getting real introspective because I was reading some autobiographies and I was like, "Damn, I gotta work on my, I gotta work on my like, my self authorship, like work in my journal and stuff." I don't know if you keep a journal or anything, but I mean, that's what I use my notes, I guess, for. I put like some dreams down there and stuff mm. like that. Dude, I had a crazy stream the other night that. My mom cut her hand off, like straight up. It was just like, boom. But I didn't know about it. And then she like came over to like my apartment and was like, oh, hey, honey, what's going on? And like, I, lost I, was my like hand. I was like, mom, what the fuck happened to your hand? And I just started like bawling my eyes out. And my stepdad, who was there. In I the like, dream. Yeah, 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 yeah. He came and I like, I don't like talk. I, I don't have a super tight relationship with my stepdad just because this is the way it is um yeah, yeah, of course, fine. and but i like collapsed into his arms and i was like it just started crying and i was mm. like i was like thank you for taking care of my mom oh that's beautiful yeah but i i wonder i kind of 
I don't know if you're one of those people who believes that like dreams have like a certain meaning I, to them. I, well, I definitely believe that dreams tell you something that's going on, like in your mind or throughout the day that you don't even notice. I think the dream is like your mind is allowed to take over and kind of talk to you. You know, it's like, hey, wake up, in a way. But you're asleep. Yeah. See what I did there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, I, I've heard that dreams are um, sort of a way of meditating on like what is what is unsolved, like things that are like unsolved. Yeah, that's a good you know? way to say it. Um, not things that I guess things that are unsolved sometimes bother you, but sometimes they're unconscious things, I suppose. But it makes yeah. sense. It adds yeah. up. I guess. I think it makes complete sense. Yeah. You ever had sleep paralysis before? That shit's terrible. That happened to me, dude. When? Okay, so I was in my house in Virginia, 708. Shout out 708, wife Lane. Um, yes, yeah, so I was I was in my bed, and I remember, you know, like I was asleep. I opened my eyes. A little, I don't know when this was. It was like sometime in what my senior year of college. And I was like sleeping or whatever. And, you know, I, I wake up a lot in the middle of the night. So, like, I opened my eyes, you know, I looked around and I was going to cl- close my eyes again. But before I closed my eyes again, I looked, I saw in the corner, there was like this black figure. I don't even know it was like a man. Like, I don't know what it was. It was like a black figure. But I was like, ah, I was actually over here. So I was like, uh, whatever, whatever. And I closed my eyes and then, you know, I wanted to move. And I tried to move and I was just like, I, my limbs were so heavy. Like, I just couldn't, I couldn't, like, what I'm doing here. Like this is more movement than I that I was able to do. I was just like fucking paralyzed, dude. And mm-hmm. the, the way that the way that I got out of it, I was just like, okay, you're not gonna be able to move right now. Just go back to sleep. So I went back to sleep for a little bit, and I woke up and I was able to get up. You know what I mean? Wow. You take like a breath of fresh air, you're like, whoo. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I was I was scared in the moment, but then I was like, it'll pass. You know, don't worry. Uh, go to sleep. I woke up and yeah. I was like. Wow. So I was scared, but at the same time, after I was like, that was crazy. That was awesome. It was an awesome Yeah. Story. I definitely, like, uh, you think I'd, you think studying neuroscience, I'd be able to sort of figure out what's going on about yeah, this? Yeah, Mr. Do- just got a job, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Doty here just got a J-O-B in the WDC. WDC? Washington, oh, Washington, D.C. I was like, what the fuck is that? I did. I did get a job. Um, exciting stuff. I actually just did the drug test today. Did you um, pass? I think so. I mean, I will pass. I have to pass. What's the drug? <laughs> <laughs> what drugs is the test? Uh, I don't, I actually have no idea. Um, but I don't do drugs, so. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It, that's a legal hobby. <laughs> but in um, the case that it was legal. Mm-hmm. Would you pass this drug test? I actually today? don't. That's I mean I'm curious because it's for instance like in Massachusetts like where I'm from, recreational marijuana is totally legal. Um, but if so, if I smoked up in Massachusetts and then I came down to Virginia and I did my drug test for this job in Fairfax, oh, Washington, that's DC. so interesting. Yeah. So like, did I do anything wrong? I don't know. It's not a federal position because I know like federal elite. You, you know, just can't. It's it's illegal, and so you wouldn't be able to get into a federal position. I think that's how that works. I but I'm confused. Know. Like, what do they test? Like, why do they test you if you do drugs? What's the point of that? I think, well, I think they do it in in the, in medicine. Um, yeah, why? You can't do drugs if you're a doctor. I feel like they do a lot of drugs. Like, what are you talking about? They're exhausted all the time and stressed out. Yeah, they're probably just popping. You know, they're just shooting up heroin in the break room. You know? I mean, have you haven't you seen Grey's Anatomy? That's exactly what they do. Is that really what they do? No, but like they do stuff. Bro, don't lie to me. <laughs> but, they, <laughs> but they do stuff that they shouldn't be doing in a hospital. That's all I'm saying. I hear. Okay, so there's I... people dying next to you, Sandra O. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith Grey. Uh, no, I actually hear. I hear Scrubs is a better. Um, um, That's a comedy representation. Though. It's oh, a, is it? It's a dramedy. It's a dramedy. Oh, is it? I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Um, it's not a medical drama. Well, they call it... like that are medical dramas. Yeah, they call it dramedy because it's it's comedic, but it's like kind of a dramatic representation of what you know, hospital life is about. But there's this really cool guy on YouTube. I forget what his name is. 
Um, shout out this man. What the fuck his name is? But Hobbs. he Hobbs is that what you called him? Hobbs. All right, we'll call him Hobbs. Oh, Hobbs, you. <laughs> it was me, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Catch me on ABC on Monday, Saturday, Friday. Doctor Hobbs. Look at me. What if I was a doctor? Anyways, continue what you're you'd saying. Be, you'd be a good doctor, dude. I'd be a bad doctor, dude. I don't think so. I don't like to work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to work. <laughs> That's why I want to be an actor, so I could just play all day. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, so what was I saying? I Bro, I had know. a long day. I don't know what oh. you were saying. Oh, shit. Never mind. I was basically saying that Scrubs is like the oh, best, yes, 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 yes. The best yeah. representation of what a hospital is like to work there. But it's not accurate. It's not totally accurate, obviously. Um, how is the zoo, though? Well, now it's great. Honestly, I've had, I had some pretty good tours today. Uh, so, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, I am a tour guide right now at the Bronx Zoo. I know it's a celebrity position, but... It's kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. You ride no, a train, cool. bro. And look at animals all day. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm just... I don't know. I'm someone who likes a lot of change. So, it's more that. I just, like... I learned everything, and I got kind of good at it. So, I got bored of it, and I wanted to move on. Damn. So, now I'm going to bartending school. Ooh. Are you actually going to school for 628, bartending? 628. June 28th. It's just, like, a certificate program, like, yeah. two weeks or something. That's still dope. Yeah, it's dope. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, damn. I um, that's also like a useful skill for acting. It's also just fun, you know. Mm. It's definitely stressful, I will say. Yeah, um, but I but if I'm stressed, I don't have time to feel bored. Yeah, that's another thing. Is like, yeah, I want. You ever think that you're gonna like? I guess I don't know. Become will, an accountant? No, fuck that, bro. <laughs> fuck the accounts. I don't even know what an accountant does. Dude, they. They crunch the numbers, dude. That's stupid. What kind of numbers are they crunch? <laughs> but anyway, what I'm saying is, like, I think it takes, like, a kind of person, a certain kind of person to make it in the entertainment industry. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because, like, uh, you just, like, can't give up, dude. Yo, you just can't give up. I know. Mm. And that's what I did. I gave up. I was also 19, but I gave up, you know. I mean, no, yeah, that's fair. I, I mean, you could always go back. I could. I guess I'm doing this. I like to do this stuff. Yeah, you're creating. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I love, dude, I love, po- I recently got into podcasts during the quarantine, uh, the mm. COVID quarantine for all those folks in the future who are checking this video out in 20 years. 20 years. Like God, I right hope here. I'm alive. 20 yeah, years. You will, you will. But um, uh, what was I saying? Mm, you've given, getting into podcasts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, like, I recently, got, like, during quarantine, I was getting into podcasts and... Yeah, this is dope. I love podcasts, so this is nice to be on the show. I've been trying to do this for like two years now. Um, well, I'm so happy that you just gave it a shot. You know? Dude, honestly, just I do. every day I wake up and I'm excited to do it. That's so good. I like research stuff. I don't even research stuff. I just listen to podcasts, yeah. and I just like I'm just like God. I like I could my do tongue, this. My tongue was just like uh... yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. weird. So um, I'm That's excited awesome, to do though. it. Yeah. Like, like what, how... do you, what do you what do you what do you what were you gonna say? Oh, no, 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 go ahead. Um, what do you listen for when you listen to podcasts? Um, so I guess I listen to podcasts and I never have, it's, I've never been actively like trying to pay attention to like how things go. But now that I am like, doing this, I've been trying to like listen to how conversations flow. Mm. But I'm also listening like specific genres that fit into the ones that I want to create. Because there's well, some, there's some podcasts that are like, one person tells a story and they like kind yeah, of get yeah, into sure, some sure, stuff. Sure. I don't really fuck with that. That's not what I like to do. Um, yeah, I like the conversations for sure. Yeah. It's, it's, just, just nice, it's nice hearing people interact. Yes. Yeah. That's true. And I think that like that's a lot of the reasons why I enjoy listening to like Joe Rogan. It's just like, I think that's why everybody likes listening to Joe Rogan. It's because not only does he have really interesting people, but it's like, it's just you get to hear a conversation. You like, know, I think it's just, it's funny how. Um, naturally we as humans are interested in other humans yeah crazy? it's so I, simple it's yeah, so simple oh uh, yeah I, it's kind of i i think that we're just like the most interesting fucking species you know to us like we don't like honestly, yeah what if like dolphins had a podcast dude but they have their own podcast they just yell it that shit would be <laughs> <laughs> through the waters 
<laughs> there it is. Ah, ah. That's like, what if that's what the Pelicans were doing? Like they were actually just doing a podcast and we're always like, oh, they're so annoying. They're flying around and yelling. No, they're just going like, their podcast. They're like, ah, ah, welcome to Joe Rogan. Ah. That's like Yo. what they're actually doing. You're right. Okay. What I should say is this. Okay. <laughs> I think that like consciousness is one of the most fascinating things to think about. Um, you can never, it never gets boring. The problem that I run into, especially when I'm talking with people, sort of not neuroscientists, but like when I talk with like people who are philosophers. Oh, like me, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, exactly. I'm quite a philosopher. The shitty kind of people that is you. Yeah. Um, it's like it. It's tough because it's an over abstraction of something. I don't know how to put it into words. An over abstraction. So like, it's just when people talk about oh consciousness, it's like this like manifestation of you know something. It's tough to th you know what I mean. Like people, it's very flamboyant when people talk about it. Yeah. yeah. And the way that I've always thought about it is like consciousness is like really it's a conglomeration of matter in a specific space that conduits electrical energy in a certain way and that's what we know about right, i'm getting lost brain. like wait what are we talking about we're just talking about where do we get this consciousness, what is this consciousness? That's i've had a few shots give me a break bro wait could you say that again just that definition that you just gave me consciousness okay. i'll keep going ahead here i'll get close to the mic is this too loud oh that sounds sexy it gets a little smooth i'll, I'll hold it up Consciousness is a conglomeration, or rather, an amalgamation of matter in a certain space that conduits energy in a specific way. That is the craziest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> it's like they're trying to be specific in, a, in an abstract way. That sentence. Yeah, I mean, I, it's kind of a cool way to think about it, right? Um, no, yeah, that's crazy. It's matter that brings in energy. That's what kind of... I mean, what like, if that's why? What if that's why we're like, like a beam, because our consciousness is that matter that attracts. What you said, it, it attracts something, energy. It conduits energy, right? Like because that's what it is. Because because I mean, what is inside of your head, dude? It's just like it's just electrical. It's just it's charge imbalances and and electrochemical gradients shifting at like astronomical speeds, right? That's all it is. And when you damage things like that, or you stop it, or you inhibit it, or alter it in some way, it changes the way you think about it. I mean, think of think of what LSD is, right? You take LSD, and yeah. and everything changes. Like like you have a completely different reality. Yeah, like like you pilot a different life. You sit in a seat of something that you've never sat before. I don't even know if that made sense. It you're made just sense like, to me. what if you're in another dimension, dude? Well, okay, I'm gonna see, and that's that's what I'm talking about. I don't think we can we can invite that kind of conversation, right? Because that's the that's this flamboyant shit I'm talking about, Javi. That's the kind. Of shit. Well, <laughs> what, everything what sounds, is... dude. You were literally saying energy. You were using some sentences that were quite flamboyant, might I say? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You you got me. You got me. Also, you know what? You got me. The yeah. Finches were a bad idea. <laughs> You know that's from? No, what is that from? You ever seen um, uh, kicking and screaming? Is that what it's called? I don't know. Will Fer it's a movie by Will Ferrell. I have no idea. Well, it was freaking dope, and he's like he buys f birds for like a whole team, and all the parents are saying how they much how they hate the birds, and he's like, "You got me." They're like finches, and he's like, "You got me." The finches were a bad idea. <laughs> you got me. It was so funny. Dude, that movie is insane. You guys should watch that movie. That's pretty funny. I'm gonna try. Hold on, I'm gonna pull this. Ready? I'm gonna see what this hat. What does? What does to my lighting? Oh god. It's alright. Eh, it kind of made it worse. Yeah, kind of made it worse. Fuck. Your lighting was so good. Like, what's wrong? With I was. I felt like I was a little pink. You are. You have pink undertones. It's okay. I'm yellow. Mm -hmm. Like, a know, little bit, I guess. Dude, okay. You have such nice lighting. Look at the colors in my picture. Like. It's all white. Like I look like I'm in yeah. an asylum. I've also done a lot of like like research, you know. Like this is what I really am into. You look great. You look great. You look great. Okay. No, I look. I'm gonna right. see if I can do this from here. <gasps> okay, I did it. I did it. What'd you do? I um, I I diffused the light 
so now it's not so harsh on my face. Oh, you look great, dude. That background looks amazing. Thanks, bro. Thanks. I have an orchid right here. Ooh, I love orchids. Yeah, not bad. I've been I was gifted an orchid. It died, but it was nice. I had it dude, for a while. Everybody everybody that has been gifted an orchid has it get dies every now but, and then. But but I think every person that has been given orchid loves orchids after that though because they're beautiful they do they are beautiful and, and they're, they're pretty chill like, like you don't gotta work too hard no you i think you like put ice cubes in it i think that's what, what? You're spo i think that's what you're supposed to do i never heard of what that. were we talking about before consciousness we were getting into some what were we talking about? i really wanted it fuck this is why i can't i'm so drink. sorry that's because i talk too much no dog that's exactly why i wanted you on this motherfucking show i, I do talk a lot well um what were we talking about okay consciousness Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even know what was before that. Dude, I'm, we're going to watch this and we're going to be like, what the fuck? I hope we already talked about it. We, maybe we already talked about it. I, I, th I actually, I'm glad that we didn't talk about it. It means that shit's getting on the move, you know? It means we're probably headed in a good direction. I mean, I'm good, dude. I, f I could talk for hours. I, oh, fuck it. I, I got 15 hours of recording a, a month, I guess. Okay. Wait. Oh, is that like, do you pay for this website? Yeah, so this is like I I decided to try this out for a month. It's like a trial. Um, That's I, dope. I hope it's a trial. Mm. The but, Angie um, Jody podcast. I love yeah. that name. I Dude. remember you you called me and you were like, "Oh, what would be a good name?" I had no idea. I was thinking about a bunch of stuff, but just the, I think the Andrew Doty podcast, Andrew Doty, Andrew Doty podcast is a good name. Yeah, I thought about like, yeah, it's tough because I don't know how well received something like that would be. Right? Who if cares, you, dude? Exactly. I don't really give a fuck. I just consider like people looking at it and they're like, "Oh, this guy, it's Andrew Doty. What is it about?" You know. But I, I was well, really then give a watch fuck. it. Yeah, like watch the, to. watch the fucking show, people. Yeah, you fucking asshole. You fucking asshole. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I know this um, Riverside.fm is what we're on right now. Um, I guess you, you can sound, see it. I mean, the quality looks so good. Like, you look so good, and your you. sound quality sounds really good. I've worked a lot to make sure that it looks good. It does not... If you watch the first two episodes, it's, it does not look or sound very good, but... Um, yeah, you look great. You look great. And, if and you know, we got to do a live podcast. Dude, right next I, to you. we Dude, can the do energy, a live podcast. the I energy, know, though? Bro. I actually think it'd be so fun to, like, listen or, like like, look at, like, people's questions and then we just say here and just answer and just drink and just talk yeah that'd be <laughs> so, dope that would be, be so much so fun dope. It'd be i so know fun. i just the reason another reason i wanted to do this is because like i just was like always on my desktop all day oh and cool I, and i was like how can i fucking talk to people and like have good conversations and use like this awesome piece of tech in front of me to make my life it's so simple sometimes man I know you just get on a phone call, and talk dude. To I you. think I think this could take off. Seriously, I think you have a nice voice. I hope so. It's funny because when you listen to your own voice, you're like, "Fuck that." I hate the way I, I have a I have a high, tangy voice, Hi. bro. <laughs> 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 um, no, uh, yeah, that's the way. That's the way it always is, though, right? Because the way you hear your voice when you're speaking, it, like it. But that, but that sucks because that means that I think I sound better to myself. And when I hear videos, I'm like, shoot, that's what I sound like. It's like, damn, that sucks. That's how it is for everybody, though. Even good singers are like, damn, that does not sound what I think it sounds like. Yeah. That's why they always have the thing in their ear, right? Like, you know, you ever see when they're singing? They have yeah. Like, does like, that okay. play what they're singing? I think so. I thought it plays like the music because it's just like so loud in there that they can't be, you know, they got to be on the same tempo. Yeah, I actually don't know. I could be wrong. I, I actually have no idea. I Honestly, I let's go on tour and figure it out, dude. Dude, we should totally go on tour. Dude, let's make a band. Do you play music? I have a cajon. It's not mine. It's John Lesko's. Thank you, John. Shout out, John. Shout out, John. The Johnster. Dude, he's on a road trip right now around the, around the U.S. That's dope. Like, why is everyone going on road trips and I'm here on the couch working at the Bronx Zoo? Bro, you're not. You're literally auditioning for for legit roles and things. Yeah, like, but that, that's, just, that's just a job. It's not like a, like well, a, like a hobby. But no. But dude, but that, that's what I mean. It's like, you can make your job your hobby and it's fine. And it's actually better. It's kind of rough, though, in the beginning. Of course it's rough. Where, like, the problem that you've already surmounted is starting. 
It's like true. that shit sucks. Like figuring out what you gotta do, where you gotta go. That's true. Who you gotta talk to. Like you already have like a good routine. True. How many auditions have you had in the past year? Like, here, I'll tell you right now. I bet you it's more than me. I mean, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because you've actually learned. It's a fucking, it's formulaic at this point. Uh, yeah, I had like, maybe like 36. That's good. That's good. I know, I'm getting a lot of auditions, which I'm really grateful for. It's tough, though. It's just like, I get it. Like, I got, what? I got a few callbacks. Two yeah. Or three. How did that thing go? Um, did they not let you? Um, you, had, you got the lead role in, in a musical. It was off Broadway. And then you got COVID. Yes, I got COVID. It was a lead role. It was off off Broadway, to be fair. So okay. double off. But still, but it was dope. It would have been dope. still dope. It would have been in, um, in May. It would have just ended, actually, about a few weeks ago. Well, like two weeks ago. But um, yeah, it was the lead role for Life is a Dream, Segis Mundo. Segis Mundo. Mm. I know nothing about that. It's a classic. You should like learn about it. It's a Spanish play by Pedro del Calderón, something like that. Mm. I always forget you can speak Spanish. Huh? I always forget you can speak Spanish. Yeah, bro. I've been thinking about learning Japanese. So when I watch bro, I'm... anime, I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yo, we got to watch um, Yo Shippuden. Insane. What episode are you on? Like 11 or 12. It's so good, dude. When it's they so when, when he shows up to the Hidden Leaf... And and Jiraiya's in the like coming up and oh he's it's so good. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah. But, spoiler! Um, spoiler! Spoiler! <laughs> if you happen to watch Naruto by now, you're either I don't know what is it what is it too cool for school I guess. Too I don't cool know. For school. No. Yo, I can't wait tonight. I'm gonna make a pasta with kielbasa Ooh. pesto. <sighs> what the fuck did you just say kielbasa? Yeah. Is, is that, that how you say? It? I don't know. I always said kielbasa. Kielbasa is the same thing. Kiel, kiel, kiel. Kielbasa. I just say kiel, like K E E L. Kiel. Yeah. Kielbasa. All right. That sounds sick. Don't you sick. wanna fanta, fanta? Don't you wanna fanta with your kielbasa? Dude, you know what I used to make when I was a kid, when I was wicked poor. Um, Boston was, boy. It was wicked. Wicked boy. I got, I always left. forget. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Hang a left, bang a bang a something. I don't know. I would, I don't know. I have no idea where that's from. The bubbler. They say that. The bubbler. I'm not even good at a Boston accent because I have the whitest white man voice <clears throat> ever. Ew. Don't I? Like, li- listen to me, right? Nah, dude. I think you sound ladies, cool, man. ladies and gentlemen. Like that's it's a great it's great voice. Dude. It's the whitest white voice in the like you think it, you're like that's a white guy, you know what I mean? Really? Close your eyes and just talk to me for like, like listen listen to the sweet sounds of my voice. You sound like a freaking movie. <laughs> you have a great sound. Uh, thank great you, tone. thank you. Every time I talk, people are like, "Oh, you sing bass, don't you?" You sing bass. Bass. Mm. Guys, uh, quick poll. What do you guys think I sing? Tenor, baritone, bass, or alto. We actually just put Javi in the closet and just <laughs> we just don't let him sing because Yeah, sing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we'll find out on our next episode here on the Andrew Doty Podcast. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just kidding. No. We're actually um, we're at forty two minutes. I'm feeling good. I feel like we can go as long as we want. I'm chilling, yeah. I'm chilling. Word, word. I like um Is this a visual podcast as well? Like are you gonna post this on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. So I've been trying to figure out how to get to different platforms because, for instance, YouTube, it's really hard to get viewership, right? Because you have to, there's a lot of, YouTube is flooded with like a lot of content. Yeah. It's really hard to filter. I have a YouTube channel. Ooh. Bronx Boys Kitchen. Yo, actually, low key, I really want to get on an episode of this. It sounds sick. All right, when you come, just we'll do it. Okay. Okay, so you're coming to I'll, New York, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll bring my camera and everything. Oh, that would be dope. That yeah. would be so dope. Yeah. I love working with like good, good. Uh, like I have one yeah. one episode that one of my friends he studies uh, production. Well, he just graduated, but he studied like video production in. Uh, Perfect. I have writing. no idea how to do that shit. No, he's so freak. He's so good. He made. He helped me do a video, and it just looked so good. It was my best video. Damn. Okay. One of them, but all of them are great in their own way. 
I have some great guests as well on that show. Bronx Boys Kitchen, Culinary Genius. Check me out on YouTube. Hey. And, hey. Um, hey. Um, but yeah, you got to be on that show. What do you want to make? Uh, I kind of fuck with... Um, I don't know. I, I, I love making homemade pizza. We have a pizza episode? Okay. Well, well we, we could do a sec. We do a second no, one. No, 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 no. I'm trying to think of something else. Okay, ravioli. I like ravioli. Ooh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Well, something that I was when I originally started doing this, I started doing every single like culture in a way. So I have like my mm. Spanish episode. I have my like it's Italian. You know, like pizza. Oh, pizza. bro, we can make rice pudding and cheek chicken tikka masala. So like an Indian cuisine. Yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. Because mm. they think sense. we're both Indian. That's yeah, a great idea. Perfect. Yeah, and we can just we can just listen to the to the Bhagavad Gita or whatever the fuck that's called. Dude, that's a great epic. Yeah. Bhaga it's the Bhagavad Bhagavad Gita? I think it's Bhagavad Gita. I don't know what don't it's know. called. I gotta look at I took a Hinduism class. I'm so pissed that I don't know this. Me too. Intro to Hinduism? Yes, I love yes. that class. Well, uh, who is it with? I took it with a patent. Uh, okay. I think I took it with McLaughlin. Oh, he, he's dope, apparently. He's a cool dude. I was going to go to India. It's Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita, yes. I loved that class. I, I loved it, too. So one of my favorite much. classes. My yeah. favorite classes were the classes that were not in my uh, majors. It's funny how that works out. Yeah. Like, I had a... Yeah, what were you saying? No, I was going to say low-key. My favorite was one of the hardest classes that I took here, which was kind of cool. Uh, respiratory Neurobiology. Oh, that's so hard. I actually, no, dude, it's actually pretty sick. I actually got this book because I believe it. it's sick, but like it sounds hard. I'm actually I'm hoping to have my my professor, the professor that taught me this class. Oh, that's so well, give him a give him a shout out. Give him a shout out. Okay. The book. Doctor Christopher Dent. Oh no, he didn't write this book. Oh, okay, but still no. give him a shout out and give this book a shout out if you want. Dude, okay, low key. So I don't have any sponsors. Obviously, nobody sponsors is going to sponsor. Yeah, sponsors. whatever. But I want to like give people good suggestions. This book, yeah, is fucking dope. Um, what is it called? It's Read called it. Bre breathe or breath. I don't know which one you want to talk about. Breathe or breath. What is it? Um, who who wrote it? It's it's by James Nestor, the new science of a lost art. It's really cool because it talks about um, like the lost science of breathing and sort of like what benefits breathing offers people. And it's really interesting because it's sort of an anthropological analysis of breathing techniques throughout like mm. you know millennia of human history That's and it cool. also it's also it takes a look at um sort of like the ev like the evolutionary biology of you know how our skulls and our nasal mm. passages have changed over the years that is so it's so specific it's interesting. yeah it's really interesting and he talks about how the highest or the largest um correlation between longevity and some biological factor is lung capacity so mm. individuals with larger lung capacity um have a tendency to live longer like me Dude, I... is that good guys do it again do it again i'm gonna chug just <laughs> yeah kidding. okay no, I'm just, kidding. just kidding um what were uh, we saying lung something. capacity even before that I don't know. I was going to say something. I forgot. Oh, intro to Hinduism. Oh, I was going to say my favorite class was actually called uh, Caribbean Language and Identity with Professor Iabo Ushia Pem. Shout out to her at the College of William Mary. It was dope, dude. It was so cool because it was like a linguistics class, but it was also Africana Studies, I think. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So we, we focused on Barbados because it was about like a Caribbean country. So we focused on Barbados and we each did our own um, research on another country. So I did like Cuba. And like you, you research like the linguistic features of how they talk and stuff. It was dope. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I definitely. I, did you ever have a class in the Ren? The Ren building? I did Hinduism. Dude, I. We were gonna do ours in the Ren building, but then they were like, "No, we're gonna do Tucker." And I was like, "All right, well." That's oh, cool. Tucker's dope too, but. Yeah, that's where I was uh, once upon a time an English major. I believe that. I can see that. No, yep. believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I used to be an English major. Once upon a time. Dude, you uh, say, I think you're an interesting guy, man. Yeah. It's weird because... I feel like you've done a lot. Like, you've done a bunch of different things, you know? Lately, I've actually... I've I had a cool memory. So, one thing that's really awesome about 
writing in a journal is you get better at recalling things. Um, mm. And so one thing I was reflecting on when I was a kid that has no, it has like no meaning whatsoever. It's like no, it's pretty trivial. Um, was my dad used to wake me and my brothers up every morning at like 4 a.m. And he would bring us on his paper route Oh, every morning. Dope. And so my brothers and I would be in the back, right, wrapping paper, newspapers and, like, handing it off and, like, oh, so stuff. Sweet. And we'd be handing it. And it would just be, like, for two hours every morning, we'd spend, like, this, like, quality time together. It was crazy. And then it came – and then I realized my dad, right, was not only working, like, 10-hour shifts at the post office, but was also, before that, delivering papers, and that shit just hits you, right? You're like, damn, my dad works so fucking hard, you know? Yeah, dude. You know, I feel like it's easy to work that hard when you're with the people you love. Damn straight. That's a fact. That hits you, yeah. Bro, like, like I could, I hate working, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I do hate working. Uh, but, <laughs> dude, I think, like, if I had a, like, when I have a wife, and children, bro, I could work like 16 hour days if need be. Cause then I get to go home to them, dude. It's just like the best feeling in the world. It is, it's an insane idea. I think about it all the time. And it's almost like, here's the, people think that that's unhealthy. Like people would, like what you just said, people would be like, well, why don't you work for yourself? I think that there's something so special about like, like self sacrifice for people that you love. You know what? It's love? just different. You know what love means? What? It's the gi- it's the full giving of oneself to another. Okay, where'd you get that from? Religion class. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they taught us. What but religion? I... Oh, oh, like Sunday school. Yeah, well, I went to I went to a Catholic school. Yeah, dude, so... everybody goes to Catholic school. At the past two people I had, I was like the past ten get. I've only had like three people on the show, but <laughs> they've all gone to Catholic school. That's interesting. Did you not go to Catholic school? Uh, I'm sorry, wait, you meant for element, like your elementary school? Or like I went your... to both, I went all my life. Until I got to William & Mary, I only went oh, to Catholic school. Oh, okay, okay, then never mind. No, not Catholic school. I meant like Sunday school. Totally. Oh, Sunday school. I mean, yeah, technically Catholic school has Sunday school in it, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I didn't go to Catholic school. My mom raised us Catholic, Yeah. Um, but then they divorced, and it was like kind of a weird, you know, transition because... My mom, I felt like my mom was given, um, well, she was put in a weird spot, right? Because how are you kind of supposed to demand your kids go to church after you've sort of committed this, like, very Uh, adulterating sin, um, in the eyes of God anyway? Um, so I was raised Christian or Catholic for about six years of my life, seven years. And then after that, it was just no more. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. But it is what it is. No, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I went to Catholic school. Um, yeah, you see, uh, do you, I mean, do you practice still? No. Do you want to? No. <laughs> do you want to? This is a good question. It's do you, so much work, dude. I'm busy all day. <laughs> but you know what they say? Like, nah, I, I mean, I really, I mean, again, I, if people, I'm happy when people like have full faith in like, God or Allah or whatever you want to call whatever. I think those are two di- the two same things. Yeah, yeah, but different religions like Muslim and right, right. Got Christianity, but like I, I really love that dude. Like you know, it's nice to have actual like just have faith in something. Yeah, I could see yeah. how it makes like your life easier. Yeah, the one I don't though. But that so that's that's one thing. I think is really cool. You were just talking about it's easier to work hard when you have people that you love. Easy. Right. And like, that's kind of like the idea of like the church or God anyway. Right. It's like you're doing all of your life is suffering. Like you suffer because, well, I don't know why you suffer. Right. We just know that life is suffering. Um, to live is to find and, meaning in that suffering. Yeah. And, and you do it, Sort of... You gotta tell the fans what that is, bro. What? Life is suffering? That quote. I actually don't know where that quote's from. It's from Nietzsche. 
Oh, is that true? The philosopher Willie Watts taught me that. Shout out Willie Watts. Willie Watts. Willie Watts, everybody. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and it's just um, it's a really interesting thing to sort of voluntarily accept that life is suffering, right? Yeah. Um, I, you know what? I do like that idea, though. I love that. Yeah. It's just I don't know. It's just, bro. I just I love the hustle. And I feel like suffering is just part of like hustling. Like when you freaking hustle. Like when you're hustling, bro, you're failing all the time. Like when you're actually freaking hustling. You know and there's I mean? something about doing it and then looking to next to you and like seeing your friends and be like, that was fun. It's just like, bro, I'm just hustling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's so yeah. fun. Um, it is really one of those sort of intangibles, right? It's just like. And maybe that's where people get trapped, right? Because you get people that are like, um, that get really depressed and they say, oh, my life sucks. Like, life, life sucks. And they spend their life expecting that life is not meant to be suffering. And then they huh. go through life thinking that, okay, life is always supposed to be good, but it never is. Whereas people who voluntarily accept that suffering is a part of life, right? Op like accept it openly and then when they're given instances of good fortune right it's like a really like, like amazing thing. a lucky break of like yeah this this yeah. incredible thing it's like that so. it's kind of like that I, that's really similar to just like acting because you know what they say they say you know if you go into it like I literally expect to not get the role and whenever you get like a callback it's like awesome you know like, yeah yeah, so that's funny. pretty funny. You should read. You should really read this book. Um, Breathe. No, no, no. Sorry, just give me one second. Or breath. I don't know. No. Sorry, um, Mister Nestor. It's 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 Matthew McConaughey. It's really good. Oh, I that's right. You told me about. I that. talk I'll, about I'll it. I'll buy it. I talk about it way too much. Um, I literally, it, it like it tra changed my life. Seriously. Yeah, I'll read it. I'll totally read it, dude. Um, no, let me borrow it. Okay, for sure. I'll send for it. Sure. To yeah, there we go. It's a signed copy, though, so be careful. It's signed? Yeah, bro. By Matthew McConaughey. Theoretically. It says, look at it, look at it. It says, oh, oh, get, get, that, get that in the camera. Signed copy. Let me see the signature. Okay. Don't judge me, people, if this is actually wrong, if it's a farce. But it's there. I mean, that's crazy. That's, it may be a print, you know? I like, hope it's not a print, dude. I hope it's not either. Why? Why would you? Put but like, also, why? Copy? But yeah, but why would it? Yeah, true. Exactly. It says sign copy on it. But also, why would he sit there and just sign a bunch of copies? Well, to sell them. Because you know he wants people to buy the book. Oh, you know, and if and if they signed it, it's worth more. Yeah. So. How much was it? Expensive. It was thirty bucks. Oh, that's not that much. Yeah, I. Uh... That's dope, though. How long is it? Probably 230 pages. Oh, I could crush that. I crushed it because it was so good. Like, I would wake up and be like, what do I do? I'll just read this book. Because it was so much True. fun. True. That's also nice to have. Like, when you're just bored, like, what could I do and what would be fun? Like, you have a fun thing and it's that easy just picking up a book. Yeah. But I never read too much, which I am a little... I'm disappointed. Not, I mean, I'm disappointed about it. I mean, I don't like to read, to be honest. But I like to read, like, like stuff like that. Like, um, yeah. stories of people. Because I don't really like, uh, like, fiction dragons yeah i don't really like fiction what about fiction do you not like i just feel like it's too much work <laughs> like it they make me imagine so much and it's fun it's cool. i love working hard yeah <laughs> but i mean if it's supposed to be for fun i want it to be that's that well i like that's why i like to read stuff on um like my, the career like the industry of i just like to learn about like, yeah you know i got industry. you yeah, some people would argue that like reading fiction is learning. I don't know how much I agree with it. I think there's probably some truth to it. I but... think it's the same way that like watching movies is learning. Cuz you learn stuff from movies as well. Like I've learned dude, I know so many stuff, so many things from movies. Yeah. And then it comes into like real life and I just know how to do something or Yeah, I I think everybody has this thing. It feels very like individualistic. But I think everybody has those moments where they sort of picture themselves in a movie. Histrionics. Is that what that is? I'm going to look it up. Uh, my friend David Carraway. I know David Carraway. I know you know him. Histrionic definition. Overly theatrical. Okay. 
An a- oh, this is a- an actor exaggerated dramatic behavior designed to attract attention, overly theatrical or melodramatic in character or style. I guess that's not exactly what we're talking about. No, it's more I like. Thought, yeah, I thought histrionics was like you always think you're in a movie, but that's not what that says. No, but I think I think people feel that more dude, often. Dude, that me not. me absolutely, dude. I walk around. I'm like, this would be like a dope entrance scene or something. But it's kind of cool to think like that. You're just it's like, fun. And that's how the ideas flow. Sometimes I'll listen to a song and I'll be like. Uh, uh, I think great theme a, song. a great scene would yeah. be this. And it must be so fun to be able to just make a movie, you know, like. Let's just do it, dude. Okay, Come I'm over down here. with it, bro. <laughs> get your We just opened up. New York, New York City just opened up. Yesterday. Yeah, officially? Yesterday? Yesterday. Oh, my God, bro. It's been so long. Yeah, I know. Everyone's out without no mask. Everyone here in New York has a mask on. <clears throat> well, That's a lot insane. Of it's crazy how it goes so quickly from like mask to mo- no mask, you know. It it happened just as quickly as the pandemic started. You know? Yeah. I was like everyone was like it's closed and then we're like yay and then we're like we're not going to uh, do anything for a year and a half and we're like no. Yep. Yep. So um what was I going to say? I was going to say something. This yeah. happens a lot. What were you going to say something? Um we were talking about um, always thinking your life is a movie. I don't know. I guess it's not that important, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Ah, fuck. I've always. Fuck. God, I want to make a movie so badly. Isn't that great to just say that word? Fuck. 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 I see the gain on my mic go crazy. Shitty, shitty, bang, bang. Shitty, How shitty, does bang, my mic bang. sound? Is it okay? It sounds unbelievably sexy. Well, I don't. I don't know if it's too loud or not. <laughs> it sounds unbelievably sexy. Seriously. Because. Uh, theoretically, I want it to be this close, but I think that's too loud. I mean, uh, could you work with the levels later? Yeah, totally. Maybe I can do it right now on the mic. Yeah, you could just lower the mic. Ready? Hello? Hello? No, I don't think I can. I don't know what I'm doing. Dude, you sound so good. Like, it, the quality sounds amazing. I've thought about being a voice actor. I was literally thinking about that a few moments ago when I was like, your voice sounds... Yeah, you could totally yeah. be a voice actor. Like, like, a, like an animated movie. Oh, I'd love to do that. I feel like I yeah. have a high, like an interesting voice. I feel like I could. Do you that. could do something totally, bro. You could be a parrot. No, I'm Quah! 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 If I was oh, an what animal, what are you all doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> if I was an animal in an animated show, I wonder what I'd be. I'm gonna look at you. Let me look at you. Get, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. No, 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 no. Listen to the sound of my voice. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, voice yeah, because yeah, a bear. Oh. <laughs> a bear you sound like a bear keep talking keep talking go. if i just talk like this i sound like a bear or if i like put put a spin on it no you sound like a bear you sound like a bear you just like naturally sound like a bear interesting okay all right okay, now, now, now give me something else i'm gonna close my eyes no no, no. oh oh, oh wait, wait, i'm gonna i thought you were gonna do it and i was oh, yeah, gonna... okay. yeah yeah close your eyes, close your eyes. Ready? hey what's up guys how's everyone doing today <laughs> super excited to be taking you guys out here Keep going, keep going. I need, I need more. Uh, welcome to Applebee's. We're just having a good time here. Uh, hey, beautiful, how are you doing today? I actually, I don't uh, know. I need a drink. I need a drink. <laughs> it These would be, be cool. it would be something that's like sly. Um, you think so? Like a fox. Like a foxy like fox. A fox. Like a foxy mama. Oh, you'd be. <laughs> you know, like a chicken. I don't know. That would be dope. Yeah. A chicken would be sick. I don't care, dude. I think every animal is dope, so. In their own way. I guess so. God, we watch that Planet Earth shit. Like, it's. What if I was like a. What if I was like a. Like a. Like a. Like a red panda. Or like a. Yo, what if I was a raccoon? A raccoon? Ooh, a raccoon would be great. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, yeah. How's everyone doing today? Like, what about. Okay, like, use this voice. Listen to this voice. Listen to what I'm saying. And now imagine this a raccoon on a trash can. There's a bunch of raccoon uh, hanging around. I'm at a comedy show. Hey, how's everyone doing today? Super excited to be here at the trash can. You know, first time here uh, in a long time. I've been on tour, which is pretty cool. Um, but uh, let's talk about that trash. <laughs> yeah, I think it would work. I think, I think it'd be it. a funny scene. Yeah, yeah, it'd be pretty good. Have like, you ever thought about doing comedy? Yes, I love comedy. Have you ever written anything? I wrote, I mean, I don't know how to write anything. I just started writing about a bunch of ideas. I have some good stuff, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I've thought about it too. I think I would get, I, I don't know. I feel like I'd get awkward. But then that's the point, right? Is to no one gives a fuck. Just, yeah, just talk. Yeah, nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. Like, I, by the way. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. No, before I forget this, I want to say, 
people, okay, this is something I've learned from you, right? Mm -hmm. I, so I saw this the other day when you came to the beach house. You went right up to um, Liz's yeah, sister's friends, and you, friends. And, you, and you shook their hands and you introduced yourself. I was yeah. like, that's so crazy. Why? And then I, I don't know, right? And because I, and then, it makes everything less awkward. It's just like, you know, I'm going to just fucking do it right away. Yeah. Well, and then I like had a talk with myself almost like there yeah. at the table. I was like, that's actually a really good thing to do. Yeah. You know? It just makes yeah. everyone's life easier. Yeah. And, and I was just like, this is so like, and I think the problem is, is because nobody really does it anymore. Kind of. You know what it is? It's because we're all nervous, bro. We're all nervous. Like we're all want to be, we all want to like be cool and ourselves at the same time. You know, it's like, what if they don't like me? Like, that's what I think. But I'm just like, I'm just, I feel like we're all in the same boat. So let's just make it a little easier for everyone. That's how I do it. Mm. Cause like if me and you were going to meet and I was like, Andrew, Hey, what's up, man? Nice to meet you. If I just say that right away. Like I feel like it disarms people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, that's a good way to put it. You know, make it a little easier on everybody. Problem is, then you get these people that are like, that are standoffish about that kind of shit. Yeah, Who cares? Yeah, no, you're right. You're totally the, right. Their opinion, their opinion of you is their problem, not yours. Okay. That's what my therapist says. Shout out, Nicole. Dude, shout out therapy in general. Yeah, so good for you guys. Uh, shout out Better Help. Really Better. Quick. It's very what accessible. Is that? It's like a, It's like an app. I'm just going to... I mean, you're like, what are we going to do? Demonetize us? We don't make any money. <laughs> yet. But yet, people. Yet, yet. But BetterHelp, uh, it's like a great, um, it's like an online counseling service. And like, you can do it from the comfort of your home. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. I've, actually, I've actually seen this before. Mm -hmm. I remember, in, in, dude, the Instagram <clears throat> ads hit me sometimes. They really get me. Because they know. I know, bro. That's another fucked up dude, thing. Dude, destigmatize. Uh, de I've been really trying hard to destigmatize um, therapy because. Yeah. You know, just talking about it openly and stuff. Yeah, I was actually... So I got off my antidepressants this past December. Great, I do know that. Or was it November? I don't was remember. It, was it December? Was it that long ago already? Actually, it might have been, might have been February. That's what I'm saying. It was pretty... It, yeah. was a, it wasn't that yeah. long ago. You're right. But last summer was really tough for me. When we first started really hanging out and chilling. Um, Bro, I know. I know. It was really tough for me, too. It's yeah. still tough for me. Yeah, I... um. I, it was not a good time, and uh, the antidepressants really started fucking with me. It was really? tough. Yeah, I would get. <sighs> I I couldn't stop shaking my legs, right when I was when I was in bed. I like I couldn't stop feeling this intense need to to like jitter Tense my leg yeah. and flex it. And when I wouldn't do it, I would get such bad anxiety. It would go. Th I would go through the roof, and I'd have to get up and walk around and do lunges and stretch That's i would get crazy, back into bed dude. and it still it wouldn't go away and so i eventually ended up going to the hospital because i was actually so terrified because i couldn't get out of this like spiral That's crazy. i was i was in the hospital a few times like three times and i remember um what they must, give you nothing yeah they, they didn't they give didn't me anything give you. Yeah. they didn't give me a single thing they wanted they checked my vitals um because that's what an emergency room does they just make sure that you're alive <laughs> and they were like hey like, we can recommend you to an inpatient facility, which is a facility where you stay overnight. Um, and, like, you stay until you're better. But you have to voluntarily do it. Um, so you can check into an inpatient facility. And they can get you mental, like, mental um, health services and things like that. Okay. So I talked with a lady over the telecom. And I was like, yo, what's up, what's up? Um, and she, you know, recommended some therapy options. And at the end of the day, I was like, I need to get off these antidepressants. God damn it. And Wait, so, so was the antidepressants the thing that was triggering that? Well, I so... So I, you were taking the antidepressants when this was happening, is what yes, you're saying. That's yes. crazy. So this was... Yeah. And I, the only thing that changed between all the rest of my life, right, and then was that I was on antidepressants. Huh. Um, and I tried two different ones. I tried... Um, an anti-anxiety, anti which is a um, dopamine reuptake inhibitor, mm. and then I tried an SSRI. So, um, super super release intrachrome, yeah. Close. <laughs> <laughs> it's a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Selective, okay. And um, that's close. That was good. I was actually pretty impressed with that. It wasn't that close, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but yeah, continue. No, it was. And, and I got off that shit, and 
honestly, I mean, God, I just feel so much better. I don't know what helped me. I don't really know what helped me, but it was I was really determined to do it, which I yeah. think was sort of that That's great, be all. Dude. That's freaking yeah. great. Depression. Depression. Get rid of it. Because I got depression. Zach Fox, I, you know that song? Yeah. I, <laughs> I, the first time I heard that song was on the vineyard. On the vineyard? Oh, in yeah. Boston? Sure. It's, it's an island off Boston. Massachusetts off is all Boston. Dude, fuck off. No, it's not. It's all nice to Boston, isn't it? No, it's literally not. I live two and a half hours from Boston. Wow, that's far. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Where do you live again? Boston? <laughs> outer Boston. Outer Boston. Sure, sure. Everything's outer Boston if you're not in Boston. Yeah. But uh, I want to go to California, West Coast. Live there? No, fuck that. Oh. I don't want to live in California. I want to live there so bad. Really? Dude, the government's so whack out here. It's the same shit everywhere, bro. Mm, I don't know about that, dude. I hear they like police how late you can be out, how many people you can have like That's in the bullshit. same room. I don't believe that. I don't know, dude. I, I mean, I, who am I? Who am I? Two, four, six, oh, one. You, you know that's from? No. Fucking. What is that movie? Show? Les Miserables. I've never seen it. Neither have I. But I love. But I love the music. I, I love. Oh my God! How am I? Did how am I? Hugh Jackman. I oh love my God. Hugh Jackman. I dude. think he's awesome, bro. Some people didn't like his singing there. I thought it was dope. Dude, go fuck yourself. Hugh Jackman has the voice of an angel. He I don't does, give bro. a shit. And not no, not only that, but like he's just good. He's, he's good. really good. He went to a school in Australia, I believe. Yeah, yeah, because he was playing rugby, right? Oh yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's what it was all about. Something about rugby, and then like. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. I'm not gonna butcher this man's past. He's yeah, too special know, to me. But um, he's also ripped. Can we talk about that? He is, dude. When I first started lifting, I looked up the Wolverine workout program. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What was this? High school? Must have been. No, 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 no. This is when I was like 20, and it worked, bro. In college? I'm, uh, was I in college? Oh then? no, because yeah, yeah, like... yeah. I was in community college. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I definitely didn't know you then. No, no. Isn't that crazy to think you and I have not known each other for so much of our lives? We've only known each other for what? How long? Like two years? Well, so we've known of each other for about a year. Like a year before we actually started like, yes, exactly. like hanging out. But yeah. like we were never, like we weren't close. Yeah, we you weren't know? close. I would I see you and I'd be, like, I'd be like, yeah, I'd be like, oh, what up, Javi? And I always thought you were too cool for me. I was like, ah, oh, but this kid's way too cool for me. Dude, everyone says that, but I'm like literally not the coolest person ever. I you, you just act like the coolest person, which is why I think. I'm just chilling. You no, know, you just got the big dick energy, bro. I disagree. I don't think it's big dick energy. I think it's just authenticity. It's flaccid dick energy. Oh, authen authenticity. <laughs> yeah, no, you're I mean, that's right. what I try, but maybe I'm just pretending. Maybe I'm just faking everything and I'm faking authenticity. Mm. I've, always thought, just... I've always thought about faking a British accent. And uh, then let's, when... let's practice. Let's practice. Okay. Um, are we going Cockney? Are we going RP? Uh, what's the difference? Cockney's like, hello, 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 how are you? No, fuck that. Those people then, are... RP is like pretty posh or whatever. I think that's also kind of London. Pretty posh, yeah. I'm not necessarily driven to act as if I'm British, but. Yeah, it's like sophisticated, you know? Like... I, I'll do my best. Um, let, me, let me channel my Hugh Grant. Is Hugh Grant British? I don't fucking know who that is. I know he's an actor, but I forget. Hugh Grant. He was in. He was in Love Actually, the best Ooh, movie. Maybe. I've heard of that movie. Bro, oh my god, watch this movie. Love oh Actually. God, wait, wait. Liam Neeson. Wait. Um, was Hugh Andrew Grant... Lincoln? Huh? Is Hugh Grant the guy from House? The guy that plays House? No. No, right? Okay. No. <laughs> he kind of looks like him, I guess. He does kind of look like him. No, I don't know what Hugh Grant is in now that I'm thinking. I think he's in Pride and Prejudice. I don't fucking know. Dude, mm. I've been playing a lot of chess, dude. Oh, yeah? Dude, you, you beat me. That You beat me, finally. Yeah, yeah. Damn. All right, not, don't say finally. We've played, like, what, four times? I don't know, bro. I don't know. We played, we played a like few times. No, we played, okay, we played twice I, in your I house. Think we, yep. Then we played, played on my little board. We played once, once, so three and, times, and we then played, once, and then in Liz's house. No, we played online. 
No, we didn't. Yeah, we did, bro. Oh, we- yeah, but that's also like, okay, I hate that the day. I, I need to play like in a 10-minute. Okay, okay. Dude, we, we could stream some chess games. I don't know oh how to God, do it. Oh, my God, that would be so fun. Be like on Twitch? Fun. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the hell to use Twitch, but I don't know how to do anything. I'm learning. Yeah, but a- you're just learning. It's easy. You just I learn. love this is from scratch. Mm, not a, no clue. Mm. Mm. It's so gross. There's no way this is I'm actually... I'm still drinking the killing. same little bit, bro. This shit hurts. Mm. <laughs> All right. You know what we should do? Dude, it's mango habanero. That shit is spicy. Mm. Mm. All right. All right. Life's toughest questions. We're going to answer life's toughest questions. Let's fucking do it, dude. I'm hyped. I'm actually pretty excited. I've always wanted to do this. Okay. All right. Oh, this, oh, this is actually really good. Ooh. Okay. Shit, oh, lo- this one has answers. So, oh, here, here's what we'll do. We'll ask the questions. We'll talk about it, and then we'll read what this person has to say about it. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. Can a marriage survive betrayal? It's a great fucking question, bro. Um, I think it can. I don't think it would in my... For me, that could never work because, dude, I'm just so anxious. You know what I mean? Like, I just couldn't do it. I also don't want to... Uh, it would be so bad. I guess what kind of betrayal, right? It's like... Yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking about, like, cheating for now, you know? Yeah. It's simple. Mm. I think it's possible. I think... I do think it's possible. I think, like, there are some people in this world that are just truly forgiving. And then there are also some people in the world that are truly, like, w- going to change for, like, the person. That, I, mean, th- I think that exists. But um, that's crazy. I don't know. That's what do you think question. about the idea that there are two types of forgiveness? Okay, and there are. So, I actually have never heard of either, but I just thought of it. Because I'm thinking about, like, when I forgive somebody, there's two, ty- there's two instances in which I would forgive somebody. Okay. One of them is when they ask for forgiveness. And I give them my forgiveness. And I actually forgive them. Another time is when I give them my forgiveness when they don't ask. Okay. And I do forgive them, but it's still like a changed relationship. Yeah. Because well, in one of them, they've accepted responsibility for their actions, and the other one, they haven't, maybe? Mm. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Just an idea. All right. That, one, that, was, that was kind of a, a lot of these have to do with love. No, no, no. Let's do, let's do like a, a life question, bro. Okay. Mm. I love those questions. I love life. All right, ready? Yeah. Where do traffic jams come from? This is not a life question. <laughs> That's not a life question at all, but I'll answer it. Okay, hit me. I think it's, I mean, it's just, it's a um, hyperbolic, hyperbolic cars. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no. Hyperbolic no. versus hypotonic. Hyper, hypertonic, hypertonic versus hypotonic, right? Okay, I don't know what that means. Like when there's a lot of a something in a solvent, I don't know. Like when there's a lot of salt in water versus when there's less salt in, I don't fucking know. It's like an oversaturation of something. Mm. You know, so yeah. like in the case of traffic or like jams, it's an oversaturation of cars for the road that mm. doesn't, it doesn't have enough space yeah. i don't know do you ever think about okay i was trying to be smart <laughs> <laughs> it sounded good to me i don't know what you're talking about yeah. uh, <laughs> um the tesla the tesla has like autopilot oh they fly no bro you oh. fucking idiot no they drive themselves so what does that do? <laughs> <laughs> do they fly <laughs> What does that do with traffic jams? Well, no, because when you think about... Tra- <laughs> do they fly? When you think about know. traffic jam... I thought you meant a- they were going to fly over traffic jams. No, you jams. fucking idiot. <laughs> All right, what are you... Okay, continue. When you think about traffic jams, it's a bunch of people that are separately trying to decide for themselves what the best thing to do is. 
And so you get a lot of people that cut each other off. You get people that don't, that check their phone and they don't like drive as quickly as they should. You get people that take off a little, little soon after somebody else in front of them takes off. And so it adds to the overall inertia of traffic flow. And then, yeah. right? And then you get the Tesla, which has the autopilot, right? Oh. The self driving. And so you can communicate with all the other cars around you and you can just go and it, there's never any traffic. Wow. Well, well, okay, no, but that still doesn't work because, like I said, it's the oversaturation of cars for the like the road that doesn't fit. So, like for example, it could be a bunch of Teslas. It doesn't matter. Like, there's just only so much space that a road can handle. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. I think it's more me? that. I'm in the kitchen now. I'm gonna make some pasta. Ooh, that sounds good. Dude, I actually have a great idea for a little. I've made this before. It's like it's gonna be like a. Oh, actually. You could you could you could help me. Um, I need help okay. choosing a noodle. Oh, okay. For what? Okay, so let me tell you. So it's gonna be. Um, I'm gonna use some turkey kielbasa. Okay. Some grape tomatoes cut in halves. Ooh, that sounds good. And so I'm just gonna saute that, and then I'm gonna put it in a. Uh, I'm gonna choose a pasta. Put that in the pasta, and then use a pesto that I just got from the corner store. Bataglias. Mm. Shout out uh, Bataglias, Bronx, New York. I would it's do. A, I would do a linguine. Oh, well, I'll tell, you what I, I'll tell you what I have. Okay, yeah, hit me. Or a penne, if you have it. I have bow ties. Okay, don't do the bow ties. Tricolor penne. Okay. Thin linguine, thin spaghetti, and okay. lasagna. Thin, thin linguine. Okay, let's do it. Absolutely. I actually don't have a lot of experience. I mean, is it different cooking linguine versus spaghetti or the same shit? Linguine will take a bit longer. Okay, let's um, get to that. Th thin spaghetti, fucking, you pop it in the thing and it's good. Well, this go. is thin linguine, so... Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm, I'm gonna find a better question. Yeah, how do you know? How do you know when to end a friendship? Ah, that's a tough one. Um, well, it could be multiple things. Ah, that's tough. I don't really end friendships. Um, they mm. kind of just pick up where they left off. But in the case that you have to end a friendship, I think it's more because they're actually just affecting you negatively in life. Hmm. Something that they're doing is either hold, hold not even, maybe not even holding you back, but just like hurting you in the soul. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like what you first said. You're like, you don't ever end friendships. You just pick up where they left off. Because it's yeah. like, sorry. Did did friendship ever begin? You know? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's kind of like maybe it was always there. It was already fuckity. Sorry. Uh, it was meant to be there. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Why do we turn into our parents when we swore we wouldn't? What? Interesting. What was this that? Question, this question is, why do we turn into our parents when we swore we wouldn't? That's stupid. Yeah. I don't care. I mean, if I, I know I'm, like a lot, I'm a lot like my... Well, I'm not a lot like my dad. I'm very different from my dad. I know I look like my dad. People know I'm my dad's son. Yeah. Mm. So... Okay, here's a good question. I've been asking people. Okay. When do you consider yourself a professional at what you do? When you make money off of it. Okay. Simple. That's what, people, that's what people say, right? Um, you don't think so? I'm still trying to figure out what I think. I don't really know. I think it's when you make money off of it just because that's what a professional is, isn't it? Yeah. Like you could you could be very good at something, but I don't think that makes you a professional. You know I mean? But once you start at the CVS, for instance, are you a professional like retail clerk? You know? uh, yeah, that's your profession. Well, okay. Once you start at a restaurant, are you are a you... professional server? Yes, it's your profession. But I think there's a difference between the character, like the the quality of being a professional at something and your profession. Okay. Um. I would say, huh. No, I think it's that has to do with being, because maybe it's you've done it a certain amount of times that makes you that professional. I don't know. Because like, could you be a professional in a month? You're Because like, let's say you're so good at your job. You've gotten so good at your job in a month. 
does that make you a professional? Like, like, like for example, a doctor, let's say like it was a genius kid. Like, could they become a medical doctor in a month? If like it was possible, they could learn all the material. Would they give them the certificate to be a medical doctor? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how I think about it. Mm. Okay, here's a good one. Uh, do you feel like you've lived this same day many times before? No, never. Yeah, I, I guess that actually I read it and I was like, it's not that good. I feel like I've never woken up and been like, this is the same as it was yesterday. It's always something a little different. I mean, in a way, yeah, in a way it's the same. You know, I'm going to go to work, I'm going to make some food. Yeah. But it's not the same, absolutely not. I, I have to, I, You know what it is? My consciousness. We were talking about consciousness earlier. I feel like I just... Because I've lived the day before, the next day could never be the same. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. I still... Yeah. Okay. You know, we're, we're, we're a collection of all the experiences that we've ever experienced, and that's what literally makes us make any decision in our lives. Um, so... Yeah. I think we're all so unique. Okay. All right. This is 21 hard questions to ask yourself. Okay. Shit. Okay. Okay. This says easy open, but it's not easy to open. Come on, Hillshire Farm. Okay. Am I a good friend? Am I a good friend? <laughs> That's a good I, question. I think I am. I think you're a good guy, man. You're one of the... I'm not going to lie, dude. You're one of the only people that checked in on me. I had a when? few people... During just like, you know, I graduated. It was fucking COVID. Yeah. Well, it's tough because it's like... That's what it is. It goes both ways. Like That's what I would think about it. Yeah. I'm trying to think... You remember when we were having this the the compliment battle? Uh, in Mrs. House. Yeah, yeah, we were like, you were like, you're so, God, you're so handsome, you're so thick, you're so big, and I was like, what was that? I think we were, we probably had a few drinks. I don't remember. But... I don't drink, dude. Well, we were probably high. I don't know what's going on, bro. No, we don't do drugs. You're right. We do not do drugs. We do yeah. not do drugs. On, the children are listening. We're a yes. multi-million dollar podcast team. We got to remember that. All right, here, here's a good question. I just made it up in my mind. Do you think you'll look back on this when you're successful and you'll remember your roots? That you'll is be like, my, Well, you got to remember, the reason that I'm doing this is not for me anymore. It's for my people. This podcast? No, uh, trying to become an actor, trying to be successful. Why are you doing it for other people? Um, because it's more like, I mean, it's for me, but it's like, I want to have the future generations of people, from, kids from the Bronx, like brown boys from the Bronx, thinking that it's a possibility to become an actor because I never felt that when I was younger. Mm. Um, just, and it was like nothing, no one ever said anything to me about that, but it was just in my mind for some reason. So I don't want anyone else to feel like that. I think this should be a viable option for anyone when they're growing up. What is your community like? Is it like people, you think people have like big aspirations or do you think people just generally like stick around? Um, hmm. I have, a, I have friends who make big, they have big aspirations but they just stay in New York because they want to be here. A lot of them are like that. Yeah. I also have friends who want to get the hell out. All right, let me let me let me change it a little bit. Do you think that? Do you think that the people in the Bronx, like in your neighborhood, do you think that they really want to change your community for the better, or do you think that they're just kind of stuck? Hmm. I don't know. Some people don't have vision. Some people lack vision, you know? So I wouldn't blame them for not wanting to better the community. It's not their fault. I feel like some people just don't see that. You know, I see it because that's just who I am. But I don't blame other people who might not see it. Hmm. It's crazy not, to think... I don't know yeah. if I'm answering any of your questions, dude. I think that they're fine. I, I don't really give a shit. Um, 
It's crazy to think that when I lived in Bushwick, Brooklyn, which was 2015, 2016. Bro, that's so long ago. Dude. You would, I guess you'd be in high school at that point. I was, I didn't graduate high school yet. Yeah. I graduated 2016. But it's crazy to me to think that you were like in New York City. Oh yeah, isn't that crazy? Like, yeah, like I drove through the Bronx a bunch delivering stuff and all that. And What'd you deliver? A plaster crown molding. It's kind of dope. Yeah. God, I remember. Uh, dude, talk about like being in a rut, I was like, I would wake up and I would have no idea what the fuck to do with myself. It's tough, dude. You were also so young. Yeah. I Sometimes I, I, it's really hard for me to accept the fact that I spent a year of my life sort of sulking in like a city that I didn't know if I wanted to be there. And I really tried to convince myself that I wanted to be. Wait, why? Because I really wanted to act. I really did. Fucking let's, so let's make movies on our own. You can act if you don't want to do the industry part. I'm totally down. That's all I've ever wanted. Yeah, and then we'll just get into it. I mean, I'm going to keep going through the industry part, but, you know. I think you'll be fine. I, think I, need, I mean, I need help. Like, I would love to make stuff with you because that's part yeah, of it. Yeah, absolutely. Being a creator absolutely. is important as an actor, so. Agreed. I'd love all to right, you ready for another question? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Who am I most jealous of and why? Me? Yeah. I have so many people I'm jealous of, and it's because I think that they're amazing people. Um, I'm jealous of you. You know that? Why? Because, I don't know, man. I feel like you've lived a life, a nice life. Like, you've done so much, and I think it's so cool. Like, I feel like I haven't done shit with my life, which sucks. And I'm young, I know, whatever, but I feel like a lot of people that I know have, like, lived a good life so far, and I just feel like I haven't. Like, if I died now, I'd be upset. You don't, you don't think I, if I died right now, I wouldn't be upset? No, absolutely, but, like, if I were you, I wouldn't be as upset as if I were me. Mm. Okay. Well. I think you're dope, so. Dude, I think you're dope. First of all, I, I I'm jealous. I'm like, like I could be jealous of so many people. I feel like, yeah, absolutely. Because they do, they like they live lives that I will never live, and kind of by virtue of my own curiosity, I want to know what it's all about. Um, which is really tough. I've been, tr you know, there's something there's something that I've always considered to be wrong with who I am, and part of Nothing's that wrong is. With who you are. All right, well, hear me out, hear me out. A lot of the things that I do, mm -hmm. I do a lot, what am I trying to say? I do a lot of things, and I feel like I'm never really, like, good at any of them. It's kind of like the master of none idea. Jack I mean, of all trades, master of none. I got, none. literally, my mom used to tell me that. I'm a younger, that's what I know. Yeah, and it's like, I've been trying to, I, I was always guilty of that. But it feels, because I'm getting better... Yeah, I'm getting better at realizing maybe, you know, there's there's a lot of utility in doing a lot of different things. There it's is. Kind of, it's like you're following like a like a light in a bunch. Like you're you're following a light in a dark room. And it, it makes you, you interesting, bro. Yeah, it gets you closer and closer to where you're supposed to go. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I was actually talking about my therapist. Shout out once again to my therapist Nicole for this. But uh, she um. I was telling her, I'm like, dude, like, I don't want to work at my job anymore. I'm really tired of it. And she's like, that's okay. And I'm just like, but I don't want to feel like, I feel like a failure. Like, I'm not, I keep leaving places all the time. And she says, well, look at that as a good thing. Like, she's really, like, she changes, like, your perspective on stuff. Like, for me. Hmm. She was like, well, think of it as a good thing. You're just someone who, that's you. You need to have change. You need to change and learn new things all the time. And when you learn something, you feel like you're moving on to the next thing. And that's just you. And she, and she taught me how to not look at like that as a negative thing, you know? Mm. It's just who I am. And that's okay. Do you do this stuff online through like the BetterHelp? Or BetterHelp, you... yeah. It's online? Yeah. Is it a phone call or is it like a... Um, different um, therapists have different things. So, for example, they have... Uh, you can do it through text, through video call, or through voice chat. At the video call... Um, but like, you know, there are people that are really nervous about it. So it's nice that there's different options, you know? 
And what is the, like, how much does it cost? I actually watch a podcast. It's called Hey Babe. It's with Sal Volcano and Christian, uh, Christopher Stefano. Okay. I don't know who that is, but. Yeah. Well, um, they're both comedians. Sal Volcano's and Impractical Jokers. You ever seen that show? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's about. Yeah, yeah, so, and then they had, like, a promo code, and I was like, you know what, I've been wanting to do this for so long, just do it. I did, and I got to save 10%, and then I was also affected by COVID, you know, I didn't have a job for a while, so I clicked that option, and there's, like, I was paying, like, 140 for four weeks, which is nice. Hmm. Which is pretty good, man, like. Yeah. And you say it's been a positive experience? It's been amazing. It's been amazing. How, how often do you meet, like, a week? Once a week. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I'm so hungry, dude. I know. I could, I could let you go if you want. I mean, no, I'm good. I'm good to keep talking. I'm just hungry. All right. We're, we're, I was like, <laughs> I'm chilling, bro. <laughs> I don't care. This is Bronx Boys Kitchen live. Dude, for real. Dude, you want to see this thing, dude? Look yeah, at yeah, this. yeah. Show me, show me, show me. Ooh. Ooh. So this is just the basic part because the pesto has a lot of flavor. I'll have to make the linguine still. But... Yeah. Oh, I love that. Pu- pepperoni. It's not pepperoni, bro. It's kielbasa. No, no, no. I was looking at it in the background. This is pepperoni. Oh, it's my doggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of dog do you got? I have two beagles. Ooh. Well, once a, once a, a mix between a basset hound and I think a coon hound. Coon, a coon hound. Dude, have you ever um, read Where the Red Fern Grows? I don't really read. Bro, you just said you... Oh, wait, you're right. You just said you didn't read very much. Okay, well, have you ever heard of the story Where the Red Fern Grows? No. Probably the saddest thing in the world. Oh my god. It's so sad. Just dogs dying, bro. It's so sad. Really? Yeah. That sucks. I guess that's kind of a spoiler for anybody. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, oh that's my god. Fun. Sometimes I think about all the books that like I have read in the past. And I'm like, damn, I've actually read a lot of books. You know. Have you actually, dude? That's dope. Yeah, yeah I guess so. I mean, it's tough to like name them, right? When it when you like ask me, but when they come up in my memory, it, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff that I learned. Um, that's one thing that hasn't left me. I've always really wanted to be like a writer. I think that's dope. Yeah. I don't know. I like, I wanted to be a writer, but I never liked writing. You know what I mean? Like I like the idea of writing, of creating. Yeah. But I've never yeah. actually done it before. Yeah. I think when, that... Actually, one time I was public. Well, I was going to be published in a poetry book. Really? When I was young, yeah. It was like a okay. kid's thing. It was like one of, But you had to pay, you know? Mm. But like, it got chosen, so I think it was kind of good. Mm. That's kind of sick. Like, yeah, it's like it got chosen, and then you have to pay to actually have it published. I suffered from a lot of, like, the, um... Like, I thought I was really woke when I wasn't. Really? Yeah. I don't, like, I don't know that we would have been friends in, in high school, Javi. I was kind of a, I don't know, I feel like I was a bitch. I, I was know. a quarterback of a, I was a quarterback, right? But I was also a super sensitive guy. Were yeah. you any good at uh, football? Um, I think I, I think I was pretty good. Nice. I couldn't throw, I couldn't throw a football worth a damn. But you were the quarterback. Yeah, but it's just because, a nobody else on my team could really, could really throw, throw football worth any. Like, like I, I don't think there was anybody that was necessarily better than I was at throwing. That doesn't mean I was good at it. Um, but I think I'm re- I was really good at owning in on what needed to be done and sort of hmm. like doing what had to be done to win. You know. I like that. Um, yeah, I miss it a lot. I miss sports, dude. I miss sports so much. I miss sports too. I used to play uh, volleyball and soccer. Yeah, you told me about volleyball. Oh my god. Dude, I was good at volleyball. You you tried coaching Owen to play volleyball. Yo, he was so bad. <laughs> sorry, Owen. Owen. Owen, I'm sorry, bro. You are the worst volleyball player. I wouldn't say he's the worst. 
But he's one of the worst for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It was so funny. It was also dark though, so I don't know if we can blame him. No, that's not what it was. He didn't even hit the ball. Like he was serving and he couldn't get it over. Alright, I'm trying to give him an out, bro. <laughs> He slept in my room after that, at the hotel. I, I know, I know. It's kind of dope. Yeah, how was it? He literally just slept the entire time and left before I Oh, him. oh, and I, apparently he called me in the morning and he was like, "Dude, I just got an Uber back to the back to the house, but I think no. we took my car to the no. hotel." No. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, so, Oh my God, that's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. That's so... I thought... Dude, I knew he wasn't going to know, bro. I know. Was it was such him. a nice party, man. I, it was fantastic. Shout out Liz and her family. I know. Liz and her family. Her family is, is so nice. Unbelievably nice, bro. I can see why Liz is so nice. I know. Actually, Liz and I were just talking. We were in the... We were actually in this room, and we were like, God, we need a hot tub. We need a hot tub Ooh. so bad, man. It's such a move. Think about it. Would you like, get a hot I, tub, actually? Totally. I, I want a sauna more than dude, I that want. That shit is expensive, dude. A sauna? Um, hot tubs. Oh, hot, yeah, yeah. But think about, uh, bro, I was just so cold. And I was like, oh, I could be in a hot tub right now. You know? What? It sounded very good to me. I'm having some bread and butter. I'm pretty hungry. I don't know what I'll make. I'll probably make some shit. I've been trying to be really healthy, you know? I just said that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but um, I went up to a guy today at the gym. Uh, I met, and he was filming himself. His name's Josh. His weight is fuck. He's guy's huge, like massive guy. Um... Wicked nice, such a nice dude. Um, and I saw he was filming, and I was like, "Hey man, like, like let me film you. Like, I'll do it for free. Like, I think it'd be sick. I would love to like help you out." Um, and he was all about it. I actually, should, I should text him back, but super sick dude. And I was like, I was like, "Oh yeah," and he's like, "I haven't been doing. I haven't been lifting for very long. I think it's been like eighteen years." And I was like, <laughs> "That's what he said." <laughs> yes, dude. Do people actually like, think that's not long? Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, I've been on, like, a two-month streak. It's pretty nice. That's so funny. Mm. But, anyway. Yeah, so, um, getting back. What are you doing to stay in shape? Well, I haven't worked out this week because I've been fucking doing so much shit. Mm. I worked out on Monday, but I do, like, a full body exercise about three times a week. So, I'm going to hopefully do Saturday and Sunday because I didn't work out today either. Mm. That's what I'm worried. I am worried about, like, I'm worried about not being able to go to the gym, you know? Why? Because, I mean, I'm going to be working two jobs probably, you know? Mm. Um, and not only that, but, like, they're going to be intense jobs too, you know? What you got to do, two days of the week, dude, that's it. Yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. And just have it, like, these days or these times, that's when I'm going. Hmm. I, mean, I think I'll probably end up... Hmm. I think I'll probably end up serving. I think I'll be a server. I fucking love serving, bro. Oh, my God. I hate it. I, really? I, used to, I used to love it. I did it for, like, three, four years. At the end of it, I had a really bad manager. Um, he was kind of like a... He was such a whack fucking dude. Oh, my God. But, um... At the end of it, I was just like, I can't, I can't go back. You know? Do you hear me munching right now? No. I think you have echo cancellation off. Dope. Yeah. It makes your sound like a little less like high quality, but it helps with overall munching. noise. Yeah. But, um. Oh, shit. I got a the pasta, dude. How hmm. long should I have this linguine in there for? I don't know. Is it? Take one out and taste it. Yeah, I'm going to. Where's my... Oh, here it is. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it looks done. It's totally done. You think so? Yeah, for sure. Mm. Damn, now I'm getting hungry. Ah, oh, shit is hot. I kind of want Chinese food. That sounds amazing. Oh, New York God. Chinese food is the best Chinese food. 
Dude, I went to the best, the best, I've already told you this, the best pizza place in Arlington. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah. How was I that? just ha happened upon it. It was so good. Dude. Actually, though, no, dude, don't lie to me. No, shut the fuck up. I'm serious. Valentino's Pizza, Arlington, Virginia, United States. Go. It's next to an Arby's. It's so fucking good. I walked in there. Bro, they had the sickest pizza pies on the shelf for display. It was like like a penne regatta, like pizza with like... I've seen that. That's in New York, bro. Bunch of, bro yeah, well, that's what... It was New York style pizza. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was like the best New York style pizza I've ever had. Oh, please. I was, I'm serious. I'm not oh, kidding please. you. Dude, just try it <coughs> and just let me know. You... Fucking New Yorkers are so snobby about that pizza. That's so fucking true. Oh my I'm not god. I'm gonna deny it. Have you ever seen that bit? Oh my god, it was so funny. What was this guy? And that's not saying that there's not some shitty pizza here. There are some shitty pizza, but it's yeah. definitely better than everywhere else. So. Bushwick, Brooklyn is good for Mexican food. Is it? I had some good Mexican food. Chololitas. Ooh, chololitas. What's mm. that about? It's just like a dope ass. Mexican restaurant. And they got, oh God, they got torta de pollo. Mm. <laughs> that stuff's so good. What is it called? Choralitas? Cholalita, chololitas, I think. Chola? I think it's cholo, but I could be wrong. Chola. It should be chola, because chola is the, girl, the female version of a cholo. It was, it was one word, cholalita. Chololitos. It was chololitos. Chololitos. Yeah. That sounds dope. Cholito. No, what does that mean? Like a, I think it would mean like a cholo. What is a cholo? Like a guy? I don't freaking know. It's like a, like cholo. look up a cholo. It's like cholo. a Mexican, um, I think it's like a specific Mexican term. Like for cholo. Mexicans in LA, you know? Cholo. Cholo meaning. What are you saying? A man of indigenous or partly indigenous ancestry. That's what a cholo means? It's derogatory. It's not. Yikes, bro. We've just been saying... I've been singing the no, word cholo. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's pretty funny. A young man belonging to a Mexican-American urban subculture associated See? with street gangs. Bro. That's not true. That's insane. I had no idea. You want to see the final product? Yeah, hit me. Show, show, show the people. Hold on, hold on. Let me just add some... I shouldn't add Parmesan. Actually, fuck it. No Parmesan, but... Bronx Boys Kitchen episode. Think of this. What episode gonna, is this? I don't know. Like, hold on. This is not that good lighting. Yeah, you're going to need some lighting. <sighs> hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm literally covering it with the, with the computer. <laughs> no, 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 bro, bro, bro. Just sit down in front of your computer and show, and show everybody. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, let's do that. All right, all right. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let me just get a drink. Hold up, drank, sit down, drank. Right. Javi, drank. <laughs> okay. For the past 30 minutes, we haven't been able to see your face. So. Actually? Yeah, <laughs> it's just your sweatshirt. But do you like my sweatshirt? I do, yeah. I'll just hopefully hopefully people will just listen to the audio. Hopefully people get this far. We're an hour and 45 minutes in. Holy shit. Yeah. This is dope, though. All right, it's look at this, nice. guys. Check this out. We had a nice conversation. Yeah. No, I, I fuck with it. Ooh. Ooh. That's so good. I'm so I might, good. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go get some. Um, I might do. Well, I, I can let you go, and you can eat and enjoy that if you want. Yeah, let's, let's fucking All do All right. It. Let's start. Let's start. Hour 45, though? <clears throat> Congrats. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Hour, 40, hour 47 and 13 seconds and counting. Dab on him. Dab on him, baby. Hell I, yeah. Well, yeah. Javi, I fucking, I love what you're doing. I Thanks, appreciate dude. you. Um, I love so what you're much. doing, dude. I hope we can sit down and do it again in, in, a, in a couple weeks or a couple months. We'll I'm check down. Just let me know. Word, word. I hope this, I hope this Riverside.fm thing works. If it doesn't work, I might cry, but we'll do it again. Why would it not work? I don't know. I think it's it gonna work. work. It's gonna work. It's manifest gonna work. it. For sure, for sure. It's like a ton, you manifest the seven. Anyway. 
Anyways, okay. Catan, great game. Shout out Catan. All right, my dude. Well, everybody, Javier Soto Burgos. There it is. Did I get there it? it? I get it. Hell there yeah. It is. So where where can people are? Do you have anything where people can like find your work or some shit? I don't know if you have like a website or anything. Nah, I just have Instagram. Xavi.sb. Follow me there. Hell yeah. Absolutely. I also have Bronx Boys Kitchen. Bronx Boys Kitchen, culinary genius. Look up Bronx Boys Kitchen on YouTube. It's a great YouTube channel. Fuck yes. Okay. Sick. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, for sure. All right. We'll be up. We'll be up. We're gonna make some films. Let's fucking do it. We're gonna do it. Give us a year. We'll we'll be big. A year? Dude, I wonder where I'm gonna be in a year. Anyway, stop it. That's another that's another. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Let's uh we'll call it there. Sound good? Peace out, yeah.